the arts. Home of the lonely, underachieving musician. Here's the orchestra room, where you can always find a high-strung person, typically Asian. The arts. Home of the right brain, crazy artists. Here's some now. They are failures in life, and art is all they have left. The arts. Home of the hair-brained, erratic performers. They hope to see their name in shining lights someday in Broadway. We all know that won't happen. Are all these stereotypes true, or do the fine arts really help students? No matter the fine arts student, it takes them hours and hours of work to put their show, sculpture, or song together. All members must work together and strive towards one single goal. Being involved in the fine arts increases academic performance, provides a stress outlet, and builds community. The studies have shown a definite correlation between the involvement in the fine arts and increased academic performance. According to the Florida Music Educators Association, students taking courses in music performance and music appreciation scored higher on the SAT than students with no arts participation. Music performance students scored 53 points higher on the verbal and 39 points higher on the math. Music appreciation students scored 61 points higher on the verbal and 42 points higher on the math. In addition to this fact, Lewis Thomas, physician and biologist, found that music majors comprise of the highest percentage of accepted medical students to med school at 66%. This correlation is clearly demonstrated by the aforementioned fact concerning music majors and their dominant entry rates in a medical school. Although one may think that biology, chemistry, or simply some other science would hold the highest accepted percentage in a medical school. However, with the broader learning experience that one receives in arts education, it is clear why the statistics are the way they are. Aside from aiding academic performance, arts education helps the student in another, usually less talked about area. Arts education helps to reduce stress. According to WebMD, the internet's medical guru, researchers have discovered that playing music switches off the stress response. Also, a study presented in Alternative Therapies, Volume 7, Number 1, took blood samples from test subjects after an hour-long drumming session. These samples were analyzed and it was discovered that the hormonal stress response was reversed, that the drumming actually relaxed the test subjects, and that the subject's killer cell activity was operating at a higher level. How stressful can one be if the stress response is turned off? Not very. Students in today's educational setting are getting more and more stressed due to overwhelming expectations and rising amounts of homework. If the schools can turn that stress off for but a moment, the benefits could be seen not only in the arts class itself, but in other classes as well. Music, one of the main components of the arts programs, has been so effective at relieving stress that it is actually used by doctors in the field. A study performed by Bryan Memorial Hospital in Lincoln, Nebraska, states that playing music significantly lowered heart rates and regulated blood pressure in patients recovering from surgery. Instead of making students' lives more stressful, music education has specifically been shown to reduce stress. More than just reduce stress, it turns the entire system backwards and actually relaxes the student. Imagine if every time some unfortunate teenager received a stressful research project, the student would immediately go to a musical therapy session. This is exactly what currently happens in our high school. These music courses are more of a help to our students than what we already know. Arts education helps the student in one of the most important parts of the school experience. It helps build community. According to a random poll of five fine arts students from Cedar Falls High School, all of them agreed that the fine arts program attributed to the overall sense of community and helped them make new friends. These statistics show how valuable the art community is in school, not only from the academic aspect, but also from the social aspect. Barnard's programs are constantly breaking down socioeconomic and racial barriers that may be causing some kids not to do as well in school. These community aspects make sure that no one is left out. All are striving towards one single goal, whether it be a theater performance, a concert, or a sculpture. Not only do these kids help each other in school, they also find ways to encourage each other in outside activities. 
Jack Van Gant, graduating senior at Cedar Falls High School, is a great example of people using their fine art skills outside of the classroom. He finds that, quote, music is just my thing. Some people have sports, others devote themselves to academic activities. I have music. Ever since I started playing drums, it's naturally taken a much bigger role in my life. End of quote. Jack uses his love of drums to spread the gospel of Christ to people who may not be able to hear it normally. He uses hardcore music to build up the community of the church and build relationships with kids around the United States. You know, as, as kids come in as sophomores, the band is a good opportunity to get in and to meet new friends, um, kid, kids coming in from Pete, kids coming in from Holmes, um, and we get together for a week before school ever starts. That's a good opportunity for those kids to, uh, you know, to meet meet the people that they'll be going to school with, and to, to meet uh, not just the other sophomores from the other side of town, but the you know, some of the juniors and seniors that they'll be going to school with. Um, you know, and it's it's just a good uh, uh, peer group, I think, for the kids that are involved in it. It's you know a lot of a lot of friendships are made here. Schools around the U.S. are in constant strain to eliminate fine arts programs altogether. However, students need fine arts to increase academic performance, reduce stress, and build community with each other. I plan to pursue a career as a physical therapist. I want to be a broadcast journalist. I intend to be a doctor. No matter where our lives take us, the experience of the fine arts has shaped us to be better students and more well-rounded individuals. With instruction in the fine arts, we now realize that we can do whatever we set our minds to. The stereotypes of fine arts students have proved to be wrong. We now know that the fine arts help students to seek their dreams and helps them on whatever path they choose to go. In other words, fine arts gives us the freedom to be whatever we aspire to be.